and Dalby Shirley. Introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout, we have Kenny Bayless. All right, fans, here we go. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with red trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of the Dominican Republic. He weighed in at a trim and ready 144 and one half pounds with a record of 10 wins and five losses. He has seven wins coming by way of not introducing Elias Cruz. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner in this 10 round attraction, wearing white trunks with red trim, fighting out of San Jose, Costa Rica. He weighed in at 150 pounds even, with a record of 22 wins, three losses and one draw. He has 20 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the Feta Latin champion, ranked the WBA number three world contender, introducing Ricardo El Matador. Mayorga. Once again, Kenny Bayless is our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, 10 rounds of boxing. Okay, fellas, we've got a wide band here, so any punches that are in this area will be considered a low blow, okay? Now listen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution to be my commands at all times. Keep it clean at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves. All right, two impressive records of these fighters. Cruz has won seven of ten fights by knockouts and lost three out of five by KO. So he's a puncher. Ricardo Mayorga is an interesting guy. He's the WBC Federal Latin champ, ranked number three in the WBA World Rankings. He's a Becker Box champion. He's a WBA Latin American champ. This guy's got all kinds of belts, but he wants a world title belt, and in order to do that, he's going to beat... Elias Cruz tonight in the white trunks of Mayorga. This is a world-class fighter. He figures that he's ready to fight right now against James Page or Andrew Sixhead Lewis, who's fighting for the 147-pound title next month, and he's ready for the winner of that right now. Mayorga's a good-looking fighter. He told me uh, yesterday that he plans to be aggressive right from the bell. Cruz an interesting fighter, too. He's got that washboard stomach. You can see the ribs. He's up on his toes, decked out in the black with the red trim and the red shoes. Back to the right hand of Mayorga. So Cruz has felt the power right away, and Cruz a little bit more gingerly stays away. He wants to stay outside that kill zone of Mayorga. One thing about Cruz is he doesn't have great big legs. He's got really spindly little uh, calves and, and small legs, which means oftentimes he doesn't have a lot of power, but this guy generates a lot of whip because he's got a good 71 inch reach on a six foot frame. And clip for the right hand. You get the idea that Mayorga has considerably more power than has Cruz in the early going here, but we talked about Cruz's knockout record. Seven knockouts and his 10 victories, but not fighting in the class of fighter. This is a definitely a step up in class for Cruz to be fighting a guy with 22 victories and only three losses like uh, Borga. It's been 14 fights since Mayorga lost. He's got seven straight victories. That's a push down to Kenny Bayless right on top. Now, there's an example of the referee being back far enough so he wasn't confused if there's any tripping in the... Actually, he more or less pushed him down and he went over the outstretched leg and Kenny was back far enough away from the action where he could see that. Sometimes referees get in too close and they misposition themselves and they don't see that and the guy is all of a sudden on the canvas and they, they you know, they start to count. Talked a couple of times tonight about the terrific refereeing that we get here in Nevada, and Kenny Bayless is just another one of those terrific referees. Total command, very aggressive, right on top of it. And that's what you want in there when you have young, aggressive fighters. Keep control. Looping left hand, a big shot that time, landed by Cruz. And Mayorga able to gobble it up, and he didn't like it, so he comes forward. It's a nice round of boxing here, 30 seconds to go. Mentioned the 10.1 scoring system. It's a unified rules of boxing. Three judges score the fight. There's no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count, but there is a mandatory eight count following knockdowns, and the fighter cannot be saved by the bell, except in the final round of the fight. The bell signifies the end of the contest. Closing seconds of round number one, a good round number one of action. Oh, up. Cruz got busier as the round went on as the bell ends round number one. But I thought Mayorga eked out a 10-9 round. 